You mind if I just park right here? I'll just park right here. That's not a parking spot. That's a road. <laughs> That's a great, um, like, monopod, yeah. too, yeah. the SETI. We saw a lot of those along the road. Some water beginning to flood the pad here. That's very intentional. Uh, 
Oh great, yes. Highlanders to give a leg and block my view. Uh, the, the sound of the, vibra the vibration of the sound to actually be suppressed. And it also helps with some cooling as well. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 15. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich, continuing a legacy of ocean observation and international collaboration to benefit all humanity. Nope. There it is. Is wow, that is bright. God damn, that's bright. have been jettisoned and separated and just my separated eyes are still burned out though on the way to oh my god that was so bright and then it, it's just gonna fall for a while it's gonna come back this way it's just gonna fall if we keep falling our way see the rock is falling down so it's gonna hit it and stage one there's that burn shut down guidance. So we're getting reverse angle views of that engine on screen. That's what you're seeing. Uh, it's coming back towards the plume. See it just burst again? Of that second stage. And that term nominal being used, uh, we've heard that a lot during this call out. Uh, that that's a very good sign. Nominal just means that everything is going according to plan within, within the expectation of operation for the vehicle. Great shot from the first stage. Uh, you can see the hypersonic grid fins there that are expanded up as kind of a shaped structures as the booster begins to enter the atmosphere. Those will be able to help guide and stabilize the booster to make sure that we hit that pinpoint landing like we heard that question asked. Uh, how do we ensure pinpoint landing and those grid fins play a huge part in that? That second stage is in the middle of its first burn. Uh, this burn 
will last uh, approximately six and a half minutes. Do you still see it? Yeah. And then there will be a right long post space clown, today, and clown. then we will have a very short, uh, or a relatively short second stage, second bird to put us let's in the see, correct orbit to follow big, that, uh, that path of the Jason series as we heard earlier. <laughs> Yeah, but my eyes are all burned out. So, Philip, from a trajectory perspective, is this just kind of uh, a moment where, and does, do the people working this mission, do they kind of just sit and wait as well here? Because obviously we're not controlling this actively. It's just the vehicle, in theory, just doing what it's programmed to do. Right, I mean, I will say I didn't personally work this mission, so I'm not sure what my co-worker who worked in for the sure. past couple of years is thinking, but it's beautiful to watch this Get stupid plane out of here. For years. We know what the map looks like, we know what the numbers are, but actually seeing these views from the second stage is just amazing. Yeah, very good. Um, and we'll talk more be over about here your by now. what you do as a, a trajectory analyst. Uh, you are, by all accounts, a rocket scientist, which is pretty cool. Uh, we will come back and t chat more in a bit. Uh, again, we'll revisit you once we get towards that second stage, second bird. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to head back out to, to check in with Daryl uh, and Jesse to hopefully enjoy what I would expect to be a beautiful, uh, very noisy, uh, nominal landing of that booster. Uh, Daryl, how was launch? Could you watch it? Or, oh, you can't watch it on your phone. All right, we're gonna hang off. They're not quite ready yet. Uh, I, I'm sure they're just enjoying it. They probably got up uh, to watch that launch and they're probably getting positioned again. So uh, I don't blame them. Uh, me neither. Yeah, they should definitely so good. <laughs> Oh, you have a big camera like that guy's got. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see it, it's wrong. It's going to start its rock. So that uh, second stage uh, Berlin vacuum engine. Nobody knows where it is. Back, as we like to call it, uh, that produces around 210. I took what you take your eyes off, but it's gone. Uh, even even uh, when I was gone, I think you All right, so call for the entry bird there. I think oh, so we, there it is. Oh, here it is, yeah. It's like a cloud. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. It was incredible. It was. We're at the show. We're all talking at the same time. It's great. Can you tell that we're standing there? We're so clear we can see the separation. It's actually going as it was going the entire time. Yeah. I mean, wow, look how fast it's going. Just before, so it's going to be landing right behind us, and we've got to right now a land actual booster coming back right now. Wow. It's got its bridge fins out, and that's helpful. That's it has to use those things. To help steer it um, and it's right making its way yeah, back to land. So it's right there. It's a steering mechanism. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting that it lands right next to the launch <coughs> pad. We have a little tent over top of us, so we're not going to see that first. We should only hear it when it lands. We have a clear shot of uh, it coming down onto the pad. The other thing we're waiting uh, That's crazy. We're, we're making sure that we keep track of the stage. Um, <laughs> right after it lands.